Marissa and I would meet outside Harold's place at 8.30 a.m. every morning. My mom would pack us tangerines and celery sticks, but sometimes I would sneak peanut butter granola bars into my bag, which Marissa really likes. <laughs> Marissa likes a lot of things, like peanut butter granola bars and choosing the music that we listen to in the car. And she doesn't like a lot of things too, and a lot of those things have to do with me. Like when I talk too much, which is a lot, <laughs> Marissa will, will say, Olive, you're seriously annoying me. It's always seriously this. Seriously that. Olive, you seriously shouldn't say that. Olive, you're seriously so weird. <laughs> but usually Marissa likes me and she lets us play together. We look for bugs to draw in our bug cyclopedia and we walk for as long as we can and play 20 questions. Is it bigger than a toaster? No. Is it alive? Yes. Sometimes we talk a lot and it's really fun, but sometimes Marissa just wants to do her own thing, so we split up and look for bugs alone. Then one time Marissa didn't come to Harold's place at 8.30 a.m., so I had to go back to my house and call her house, and her mom picked up. Hello, Joanna Reed speaking. Hi, Mrs. Reed. This is Olive. Is Marissa there? Oh, Olive. Marissa isn't feeling well. You two can play tomorrow. And I wasn't really sure what to do without Marissa all day. I tried really hard to think about things to do all alone by myself. I knew that Marissa would be really mad if I added to the bug cyclopedia because she likes to see the bugs in real life because she says that when I draw them, I don't make it very realistic. But we had a lot of things on our goals and aspirations list for the summer. And one of them was learn how to fly. And I thought Marissa would be pretty surprised if I learned how to fly on my own. So I went to the giant dumpster behind Harold's place. And I climbed all the way up to the top, like without a ladder or steps or anything. And I went and stood on the edge. And I put my arms out like this. And I closed my eyes. And you're not going to believe this, but I, I swear that it is true. When I jumped, and I promise, I swear, I was really seriously flying. And for a second, I was so scared because I was like, holy cow, I'm flying. That I guess my brain lost concentration or something and I just fell to the ground. <laughs> and I scraped my arms and knees on the pavement, but it was totally worth it because I was flying. And then when I told Marissa, she didn't really believe me. Olive, stop making things up. People can't fly. You definitely didn't fly. No, I swear. I promise it's true. Even if it was for a second, I was seriously, really, definitely flying. Olive, you're seriously annoying me right now. And Marissa sort of stopped coming to Harold Place at 8.30 a.m. after that. I would see her walk by my apartment with that neighbor girl, Bailey, and I could hear them playing 20 questions. Is it bigger than a toaster? No. Is it alive? No. Truth is, I started my own bug cyclopedia because it's actually a lot easier without Marissa having to see the bugs before that I can draw them because sometimes I see really interesting bugs and then I never see them again. So I guess they must be pretty rare or something. Or maybe I just made them up. I don't know. I keep trying to fly again since that day on the dumpster, but I haven't been able to do it again. I just keep falling down. I'm not sure that I'll ever get to fly again. Flying must be pretty rare.